Imagine a world without the Mediterranean Sea. It's not as far-fetched as you think. Back in the 1920s, a German engineer named Hermann Sorgel came up with an insane plan to drain the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea is surrounded by 21 countries, and draining it would likely lead to conflict over which country owns which new land. Hermann's plan, called the Atlantropa Project, would have involved building a massive dam across the Strait of Gibraltar, as well as two other dams between Sicily and Tunisia and between Turkey and Greece. This would have lowered the sea level by up to 100 meters and created over 576,000 square kilometers of new land. Hermann had several goals for the Atlantropa project. He wanted to generate hydroelectric power, create new agricultural land, and improve transportation between Europe and Africa. He also believed that the project would unite Europe and Africa and promote peace and prosperity. Hermann's plan was never built, but it remains a controversial topic. But what was Hermann's plan really about? Before we can dive into his insane plan, let's start by talking about who Hermann really was. He lived from 1885 to 1952. He was a German engineer and architect who was known for his visionary ideas and his commitment to sustainable development. He was born in Regensburg, Germany, and studied architecture at the Technical University of Munich and the Bauhaus. He was a pioneer in the field of sustainable architecture. He believed that buildings should be designed in harmony with nature, and he used his architectural skills to promote a more sustainable way of life. He has designed numerous hydroelectric power plants that were powered by renewable energy. Hermann believed that cities should be planned in a way that minimizes environmental impact and maximizes quality of life. He developed a number of regional planning concepts that were ahead of their time. In addition to his work as an architect and engineer, Hermann was also a prolific writer and speaker. He wrote a number of books and articles on topics such as sustainable development and social utopia. His most ambitious idea was the Atlantropa Project, a plan to drain the Mediterranean Sea and create new land for agriculture and hydroelectric power. The Atlantropa Project was a proposed project that would have drained the Mediterranean Sea by building a massive dam across the Strait of Gibraltar, as well as two other dams between Sicily and Tunisia and between Turkey and Greece. The Strait of Gibraltar Dam would have been built first. This dam would have been the largest and most complex structure ever built. It would have been over 10 kilometers long and over 300 meters high. Once the Strait of Gibraltar Dam was completed, the dams between Sicily and Tunisia and between Turkey and Greece would have been built. The dam between Sicily and Tunisia would have been approximately 3 kilometers long and 200 meters high, and the dam between Turkey and Greece would have been approximately 10 kilometers long and 150 meters high. These dams would have been smaller than the Strait of Gibraltar Dam, but they would still have been massive structures. Once all three dams were completed, the flow of water between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean would have been blocked. This would have caused the Mediterranean Sea to evaporate. This would have lowered the sea level by up to 100 meters and created over 576,000 square kilometers of new land. The project was proposed in the early 1920s and was promoted as a way to provide Europe with new land for agriculture, new sources of hydroelectric power, improved transportation between Europe and Africa, and a more united Europe. Hermann estimated that the Atlantropa project would take approximately 100 years to implement. This would have included the time to build the dams, to evaporate the Mediterranean Sea, and to develop the new land. However, many experts believe that Hermann's estimate was optimistic. They argue that the project would have taken much longer to complete, perhaps even centuries. One of the main reasons why the Atlantropa project would have taken so long to complete is the scale of the project. The dams would have been some of the largest and most complex structures ever built. The evaporation of the Mediterranean Sea would have also been a slow process, and the development of the new land would have been a massive undertaking. Another reason why the Atlantropa project would have taken so long to complete is the cost of the project. The project would have required a massive investment of resources and labor. Given the scale and cost of the project, it is likely that the Atlantropa project would have taken centuries to complete, if it were ever completed at all. Here is a time estimate of the project where it starts with Phase 1. Phase 1 is the construction of the dams which can approximately take anywhere between 10 to 20 years. This would have been the most challenging and expensive phase of the project. The dams would have been some of the largest and most complex structures ever built. Then we have Phase 2. 
Phase 2 is the evaporation of the Mediterranean Sea which actually would take longer. In fact, this can take anywhere between 50 to 100 years. This would have been a slow process, as the Mediterranean Sea is not only very large but it's also very deep. After that we have the third phase. Phase 3 is the development of the new land which also is a long process that can take between 50 to 100 years. This would have been a massive undertaking, as the new land would have needed to be cleared, leveled, and developed. This enormous project also comes with an enormous investment. Herman estimated that the cost of the Atlantropa project would be approximately 500 billion gold francs. This would be equivalent to trillions of dollars in today's money. However, many experts believe that his estimate was optimistic. They argue that the project would have cost much more, perhaps even tens of trillions of dollars. Giving an estimate to the size of the project is hard but it could range between $21 trillion to $210 trillion. Let's imagine for a second that this project came to life. What challenges would it face? Designing and building dams across the Strait of Gibraltar and between Sicily and Tunisia and not forgetting the one between Turkey and Greece would have needed to be designed to withstand the enormous forces of the Mediterranean Sea. They would also have needed to be able to generate a significant amount of hydroelectric power. Another challenge is to control the flow of water during the evaporation process. As the Mediterranean Sea evaporated, the level of the sea would have dropped, and the flow of water through the dams would have decreased. This would have needed to be carefully controlled to avoid damaging the dams or disrupting the flow of hydroelectric power. In addition to controlling the flow of water, engineers would also have needed to develop new technologies to accelerate the evaporation process. Herman proposed using a number of techniques to accelerate the process, such as building large solar reflectors and pumping seawater into the air. However, these techniques would have required the development of new technologies. The Atlantropa project would have faced not only engineering challenges, but also significant environmental problems for the 21 countries surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea acts as a heat sink, absorbing heat from the sun and releasing it slowly throughout the year. Draining the sea would have caused temperatures to increase in the surrounding region. The Mediterranean Sea also plays a role in regulating the wind patterns of the surrounding region. So by draining it, this would cause changes in wind patterns, which could have had a number of impacts, such as increased dust storms and changes in agriculture. Not only that but we would also have loss of marine life, changes in ecosystems and dozens of other issues. While the Atlantropa project had a number of potential consequences, it also had a number of potential benefits, which Herman surely considered when he proposed this ambitious plan. The Atlantropa project would have created over 576,000 square kilometers of new land, which could have been used for agriculture, industry, and development. The dams would have generated a significant amount of hydroelectric power, which could have been used to power the development of the new land and to reduce Europe's reliance on fossil fuels. The new land would have provided new routes for transportation between Europe and Africa, and sure dozens of other good things that the project could do for the world. While the Atlantropa project may have seemed like a solution to some of the world's problems, it was ultimately a deeply unrealistic plan. This shows that there are no easy answers to the complex challenges that we face today. Another challenge that we have today is poverty, and inequality. If you want to learn more about why some countries are poor and others are rich, then don't forget to watch this video.